I will not speak from a global perspective, but more from a Serbocentric perspective. So, I, um, just a, just a brief remark. I mean, we're, 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 we're talking, yes, of course. We're talking, uh, of course, today in the context of, uh, um, of course, the upcoming elections in the U.S., but also three elections that have just finished uh, in the last couple of weeks. I mean, of course, the Russian elections, which are very important, of course, for NATO, uh, with the um, obvious large victory of Vladimir Putin, which will have some uh, important impact on the future relations between NATO um, uh, and Russia. We have seen the victory of François Hollande in, in France, which will always, of course, have an impact on the, on the, on the, on the future of, of, of NATO itself. And we have seen, of course, the, uh, the results of the, at least the first part of the elections uh, in Serbia, but already we know uh, a little bit about how uh, which party did, um, did well or which did not. Uh, it is clear that, um, I, I would just have a few remarks about, about what this means, for example, from my perspective, for the um, um, Serbia-NATO relations. I think it's clear that we have seen a large defeat of the pro-NATO forces in these elections with the uh, uh, LDP, the, uh, the Urs of Mlađan Dinkić and, uh, and one of the most prominent uh, uh, supporters of NATO, Zoran Dragišić, who in total did not make more than 15% in the elections. Uh, so I think that this is, a, this is an, important, uh, uh, an important thing. Uh, second important thing is that we have seen um, um, a more important, we will see a more important role of the SPS, of the Socialists in the Future Government, which means that um, the future government will not be able to do some things that it has done in the last couple of, uh, of the, uh, years, especially with this step-by-step, uh, -step, let's say, um, um, small policy of small steps behind the public eye, um, which, I mean, steps towards NATO inter integration. I think the SPS as a strong opponent to, to NATO integration will probably be a a balancing force in, in, in the government. And of course, we have seen, especially in the last year or so, um, a, um, a defeat of, of the, of the um, let's say, of uh, Minister of Defense, Dragan Shutanovac, within, within his own party, uh, who has uh, from a, who has now toned down uh, his, uh, his support uh, to, uh, to, to, NATO, to NATO integration. So, um, these are some of the changes in the, the Serbian uh, uh, political uh, political scene that will probably be reflected in the, in the months and, and years um, to come. I think I think it is clear that uh, um, uh, Serbia um, uh, will continue with the policy of uh, military neutrality uh, towards NATO. I think that uh, even the Ministry of Defense. Has in the recent publication uh, has given one probably one of the best arguments of why uh, military neutrality is a good thing for Serbia. I mean, they have just uh, they have said that uh, in the last uh, four years since 2007, um, sales of the Serbian uh, military industry have grown by 400 percent. And uh, so, since 2007, 2007 is the date where when the year when military neutrality was proclaimed. So I think that this is this shows uh, maybe a correlation between uh, between uh, military neutrality and the improvement of, of sales, especially to non-NATO uh, uh, countries. I think it is very important also for um, for the Serbian. And it's unfortunate that Tanya Mišević is not is not here because she is one of the most um, strongest supporters of this policy. I think it, it is this it is important that the Ministry of Defense. Um, does not now change a little bit its uh, its path towards uh, towards uh, supporting a pro NATO policy by by using uh, um, the rhetoric of uh, of EU integration as a, as a parallel parallel um, uh, step. But I think that uh, I think that Minister of Defense, especially in the last in the last year under under Mr. Mišević, has 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 used this. Um, um, <coughs> this, this policy of, of EU integration to try to um, bring Serbia closer uh, towards Atlantic integration. We will see whether this will, she will succeed um, uh, in the future. I think that it's very important that um, um, in the next uh, couple of years that Serbia uh, should become a member of the um, Parliamentary Assembly of the Organization of Collective Security. 
um, um, as, as a part, sorry, not the member, but an observer um, of public security um, led by led by Russia. I think it's important to have a balance between um, um, in, the, in Serbian in the Serbian foreign policy, especially um, since Serbia is already uh, participating in the parliamentary assembly of, um, of of NATO, and I think it's of course uh, very important for Serbia to have as soon as possible a referendum on NATO. I think it's, uh, it, it is clear that uh, Serbia has, um, uh, we have seen in a, in a recent poll, I think a couple of weeks ago, but done by B92 and the strategic uh, marketing that 70% of the Serbian population is, is strongly, um, uh, it's against NATO membership that only 10% is in, is in favor. Even within the LDP, which is seen as a, as a strongest supporter of, uh, of NATO integration, 40% uh, of its voters are against, 30% are in favor of, of NATO of NATO integration. So referendum <laughs> as soon as possible uh, is important because we need to take uh, we need to, to know, we need to know where we're going and we need to uh, uh, we don't need any more uh, you know searching and, and, and debating over, over 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 this issue. I think that uh, Serbia should focus on its military neutrality. Try to use as much as possible its military neutrality for its own benefit, just as done with this uh, increase in, in support of, uh, uh, increase uh, of, of uh, exports in military equipment. And just one, uh, one final word for now. Um, as far as the summit is, I, I, have co I have covered uh, NATO summits in the past as correspondent. Uh, I have covered, in the, for example, the, the NATO summit in, uh, in Riga in uh, 2006. Mm -hmm. Uh, when Serbia was admitted as a member of the uh, Partnership for Peace program. Um, of course, um, NATO summits are very important events. You know, although I'm, as I'm presenting a very NATO skeptical, maybe some will say anti-NATO uh, speech, uh, uh, I, will, I will certainly never deny the, the importance that NATO plays uh, in, uh, in, in, in the world and in world security, but, you know, summits are big PR shows. Uh, uh, when compared to, for example, the, the, the meetings of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of NATO, where there is much more, um, much more, many more operational things going on, and many more, um, um, they're much more uh, interesting in, in terms of, uh, of what comes out. I mean, the, the, the summits are interesting because the big leaders are there, because there will be demonstrations, and thank God, uh, in Chicago there are still a lot of anti-war support. Uh, uh, protesters who will be there, so they will probably save the, uh, um, uh, the honor of Chicago. Um, but I think that <coughs> when we look uh, in the uh, when we look at uh, things overall, um, I think that NATO this summit will not change uh, the overall problems that NATO is facing. Its problems with search for identity. Its problems uh, with the loss of uh, an the impact that it has uh, due to <coughs> project limitations, due to the um, uh, growing roles that uh, Russia, China, and some other powers have in the world. Um, I mean, it's an organization that uh, you know cannot finish a war in Afghanistan in 12 years, for 12 years now. I mean, it's more than the first and second world war combined. Uh, it's an organization uh, which does not just one final thing. It's an organization which uh, you know uh, is not um, able to give an apology to the um, to the victims of or the families of the victims of the bombings in Libya, just as we have seen yesterday, two days ago, with them after the Human Rights Watch uh, appealed for an apology. NATO just denied this um, as, as if it did not happen. So I think that uh, these are some of the. Uh, the problems that I have, I, I see with uh, with NATO um, at this point. And whether you see any logic in this fire defense concept, whether or not Serbia is to be implemented together with NATO or not, but do you see uh, logic with the concept? And the concept is logical. Uh, I think it's but it, it's a concept which uh, which is not just a response to the crisis. I mean. Um, the crisis is only uh, uh, an excuse for this problem that exists within NATO uh, for decades now. At least, I remember as a, as a correspondent from NATO headquarters for, for, the, for 
Brussels from uh, 2005 to 2009. It was back in 2005. This was a, it was the same problem. I mean, uh, it was always a problem of the U.S. criticizing uh, the rest for not paying enough uh, uh, for their um, participation in, in, in NATO. Um, I think that uh, smart defense creates a, a sort of a dependency, dependency of, of member states on, on, on NATO. I think that then that um, states uh, become you know just small independent uh, you know uh, software solutions which are fully dependent on, on the big hardware. Um, I think that it means further uh, loss of the sovereignty of states, uh, which is I, I doubt whether this is really something that, uh, that is a good thing in the uh, in the in the times of crisis. Um, European, so the problems with, uh, which we have seen with European solidarity, problems we have seen uh, within the European Union in the last couple of years, with the lack of solidarity, actually, uh, in, uh, in a lot of cases, shows that you know um, it's questionable whether you should really uh, uh, rely uh, too much uh, on uh, on uh, for fully on uh, on other uh, partners, especially when it comes to to the security. I think it's also um, very doubtful whether uh, smart defense is, uh, is, is possible without a bigger consensus within NATO members on the policy of interventionism. I mean, some, some countries want to intervene worldwide, some do not. Uh, just look at uh, Iraq, look at Libya, uh, even look at the question of, of, of Syria. I don't know, 8 out of 28 countries uh, participate in the bombings of, of, of Libya and uh, we have seen that, for example, Germany is always very reluctant to, 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 to intervene, so there will probably always uh, be a problem. Of course, they intervene when it comes to the case of Serbia, unfortunately, but uh, uh, I see that in all other cases, uh, Germany is, is, uh, uh, is, is, not, is not participating. <coughs> So I, I, I don't see the reason why, for example, Great Britain, France, or Germany, which have large, fully operational armies, will, will uh, participate in, 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 in smart defense. I mean, they are self-sustainable. Um, why would they lose some of their, some of their sovereignty in this, in this case? I don't, I don't know. Um, it is also questionable whether the EU or EU member countries identify the same problems, uh, same, same security threats as the U.S., especially when it comes to Asia, Asia Pacific, and whether they want to fill the, uh, the financial gaps. Um, and, uh, and finally, I will just be a little bit uh, sarcastic, uh, but um, uh, does uh, smart defense also involve, for example, the training of, uh, of Syrian opposition rebels uh, within the uh, K KLA camps in, in Kosovo. I mean, we have seen that in the last couple of years, uh, couple of days. I mean, is this one of these smart defense specializations that we're talking about? I think this is something that uh, is also a question for NATO and NK for. Uh, to, uh, to I'm sorry for being sarcastic. On this. Well, I'm, I will. I will. Uh, I think that, of course, the, the identity crisis has made the last is lasting for uh, a long time, and it is one, it's one of the biggest debates. Uh, about NATO, of course, I think there is there is not only problem of identity, it's problem of unity. Uh, very often, um, on several key aspects, not only interventionism, it's also a key, and, and not only finance, as we have seen. It's also about some specific issues, uh, you know, like missile shields, and, etc. But I think, and I, as I pointed out to the to the this uh, crisis of, of morale, I think that uh, that, that, is, that is there um, with the. Um, with the lack of apologies to, to the victims. Uh, but um, I will um, um, maybe focus a little bit on, uh, on the, the role of, uh, of NATO in, the, in, in uh, what is important for Serbia. Um, I think that we, when, we look at, uh, when we look at Kosovo, for example, I think it's obvious that NATO is not doing a good job. I mean, we have seen last year, or at least it's doing a job, but against the interest of Serbia. Uh, we have seen last year with uh, with the lack of uh, of uh, defending, uh, you know, the, uh, the Kosovo Serbs um, um, in the north uh, of uh, of Kosovo from uh, an, an Albanian-led um, aggression. Um, you know, at the end, 
NATO pretty much became a, okay for becoming an, an ally of, 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 of Pristina in the north of Kosovo, and I hope that uh, um, uh, this will not be uh, continued in the, in the future. I think that uh, NATO should strongly urge Kosovo Albanians to refrain from violence, especially from taking over north of Kosovo, from cutting down the institutions of the state of Serbia in, in Kosovo, especially in northern Kosovo, but also elsewhere. Uh, I think that uh, NATO should uh, refrain, it should, should um, use its, uh, as, as a collective, should um, uh, use all its influence to uh, prevent Tirana uh, from uh, and playing a, 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 a um, greater Albanian uh, policy in the region, destabilizing the region. I think that it should also urge uh, Ankara from, uh, from uh, potentially destabilizing, uh, of course, uh, the region with its neo-Ottoman neo policy uh, in Bosnia and San Sanjak region. But, you know, there are also uh, some, uh, some other positives that, uh, <coughs> that uh, you know, NATO can do. Of course, it can, for example, uh, provide, uh, you know, um, security to, uh, uh, you know, the most important energy security project uh, in, in, the, in the future, in, the last, in this decade, which is South Stream. Um, I think that uh, NATO could also uh, help um, sort of um, calm down the region by uh, not um, by abandoning this this project of installing missile shields, uh, missiles, um, you know, 150 kilometers from the Serbian border. I think this is not something that uh, is, uh, is is too helpful for um, Serbia's uh, Serbia security, and I think that. Of course, it would be a very good thing if, if uh, you know, the U.S. especially, but but NATO uh, would stop from, uh, you know, over and over uh, giving, you know, um, calls to the Serbian, uh, to the Serbian government, to Serbian authorities, to Serbian people to join NATO. I think this is creating uh, useless, uh, useless uh, divisions uh, within the Serbian, uh, Serbian society. I think that no one in Serbia wants to do any harm to, to any NATO to NATO to any NATO members and I think uh, but I think also the Serbia should be should be left alone I think that uh, uh, Serbian people have decided already on what is best for their uh, future it's, uh, um, it's, it's good news that this is not an enlargement uh, summit uh, I think that it's good uh, because uh, I think it should be for example, in Montenegro, there should have been a referendum. There should be a referendum on whether Montenegro should join or not, because uh, when, when we see the polls, a large part of the Montenegrin population is against main NATO membership. Uh, same goes with, uh, with Bosnia. Um, uh, it's, it, as I said, it's, it's a bad thing that, uh, that there are still uh, calls being made just before the elections by some officials in the, in the, in the State Department, or maybe it was in the White House. Right? Um, over Serbia, uh, moving more, moving closer to uh, to Atlantic uh, uh, integration. But I think <coughs> that um, that overall um, um, Serbia should should take uh, very careful steps um, in, in in the future to avoid um, uh, you know irritating. Uh, not like me, I'm sort of. I'm, I'm, uh, this is, I'm, I'm being a little bit uh, uh, maybe uh, too skeptical and uh, maybe irritating because of, because of the debate. But I don't, I don't think that this should be a sort of always the language that, uh, that Serbia should, should use in, this, in its argumentation with NATO. Um, but on the other side, it should, it should uh, be very, very careful that uh, it, within its regional policy, it does not just simply uh, you know, just fit in, the, in the, just pure this um, Atlantic uh, Atlantic frame of, of, of cooperation. That it, it should not be uh, pulled into uh, cooperating, uh, and then step by step into in just at the end fitting the, the big um, um, Atlantic uh, Atlantic framework. I think that also in terms of the PFP, uh, we have seen that uh, this is. Um, that uh, some people have said that uh, even NATO members are moving away from seeing PFP as some big romantic idea and that they're, that, um, they're now um, uh, using a much more pragmatic policy. Uh, who can be useful and, 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 and for what? Um, 
so I think that um, um, we, we, it, is, it is clear that the U.S. Uh, as leader of NATO has uh, greater ambitions worldwide, uh, especially in, in Asia, Asia Pacific. Uh, I, I doubt that, uh, that Europe, with, with the current crisis, Euro crisis, can, can, can follow. And I think it's normal that um, uh, the U.S. will look also for stronger input from some, some of its other partners, just, um, you know, in, for example, uh, in, in, in the Pacific. And I think that we will probably see maybe less interest of, of the U.S. Uh, overall in the Balkans and more in some other regions of the world. I didn't hear you answering uh, uh, whether <coughs> Serbia see any role in partnership. Or what do you think is appropriate role uh, of partnership in Serbian security and foreign policy? How much should we be involved in? In what sense? Well, I think that the partnership for peace is a is in terms of its relations with in terms of relations with NATO. I think it's a maximum uh, that uh, mm -hmm. I mean. I think. We have we have seen. Uh, I will not go, go into into details. I mean, we have seen detailed programs of, of how uh, this uh, this policy of partnership uh, can be implemented, and how it can be most active possible. Um, uh, and I think that this is a, this is a maximum in terms of its relations uh, um, with NATO. I think that uh, um, Serbia, when we look, for example, at uh, <coughs> Serbia, needs to go beyond NATO. Serbia needs to develop its military relations with some other countries in the world. It needs to develop that much better relations with, with Russia in terms of the military industry. Uh, I think that uh, especially since, uh, since Serbia is uh, in the future, Russia will become a more and more important uh, economic partner of, of, of Serbia due to, the, due to the free trade agreement and, uh, and uh, uh, some other joint plans. Um, and I think that when we see, for example, as I said, the results of the of the, of the military industry, military equipment uh, industry. It is clear that maybe 90, 95 percent of the of what is being sold is being sold to the to the non-NATO countries. Alone or with someone's help? Well, I mean, we're selling to 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 Indonesia, selling to Indonesia, selling to some African countries. Uh, you Iraq. know, Iraq, of course. But I mean. Uh, what, 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 where, I'm, this is not a policy. I'm not arguing for a policy of, of confronting NATO. I mean, certainly not. I mean, I'm not crazy to confront NATO, uh, and I'm not, say, I'm not saying that the, U, the U.S. doesn't have a role to play, or that NATO has a role to play in helping Serbia and Serbia, Serbia's industry. But this is all part of this, uh, this, as I said, uh, a, a, a web of, of, of partnership that should, Serbia should build. I think this is this is. What, what military neutrality is all about. It's about having good relations with NATO, having partnership with, within our partnership for peace with NATO members and partnership with countries, but also looking beyond, improving, uh, you know, cooperation, sometimes thanks to NATO with some, with, some, uh, with some other countries around the world. I think this is a, a perfectly healthy policy. I don't see anything bad about, about this. I think it's much, 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 much uh, better for Serbia than just uh, either joining one block or just plainly isolating itself. Um, no, I just, just on the um, on, on, on debate about NATO. I mean, I, maybe I I got my point wrong. I think that uh, it's perfectly normal to have a discussion uh, on, on the pros and cons of NATO. And I think that if if someone has been working on on trying to set up to, to create a debate, I can see I can tell that I'm probably. Uh, in, in the top, in the top ten, maybe in, in this country, uh, not only by uh, because I have set up a, a, a website that deals with uh, with arguments related to the to, the, to NATO, um, which includes some of the, of course, are, is more um, critical of NATO membership, but includes also uh, arguments in favor of NATO membership. Uh, uh, also, s someone who has uh, back in 2000, earlier 2010, coordinated a petition of 200 intellectuals, uh, Serbian intellectuals, who have urged a debate and a referendum on NATO membership. Um, and uh, I think this is a very important initiative which really stirred for the first time a very important, Sonia knows that, a very important debate in the Serbian, uh, in, 
of the aftermath. And for months after that, there was a very serious debate on the pros and, and cons within, there, there were at least uh, 10 to, to 20 um, uh, events that I have attended, um, mostly financed by NATO public diplomacy, but uh, I guess, I guess as, a, as a response to, to, to our petition. But there was, there was a debate in the, in the political newspaper which lasted almost two months uh, on, on, on this issue. So I, can, I, I, I certainly, uh, no one wants to avoid uh, these, these pros and, uh, and cons of discussion. And I think that we will probably see that uh, in the, in, of course, in the, in the, in, in the future. Um, I think that uh, we have seen today, for example, with this latest development with uh, uh, Mr. Kostunica and Mr. Nikolic agreeing on, uh, today on, uh, on uh, working towards a referendum on, on NATO membership. Uh, I think that this is also uh, shows that this will be, um, this will be a topic in the, uh, in, in the future. But I think that, you know, we also must take into account, you know, what what the people have said. I don't think that people are uninformed about about uh, pros and cons. There is the emotional part that will always be overwhelming, and nobody can deny that. Uh, but there, there are also many. Uh, there is also much rationale uh, for not joining uh, NATO, and I'm, I will always be uh, there to to argue for not just for this emotional argument, but also for this rational argument. Well, I, I, uh, I'd say that, you know, when I say military, uh, military context, military relations, or security relations is maybe a better term, I think. I think this is, this is where, where uh, I'm, I think that um, um, we're not talking, when, when if, you're milita if, you, if you proclaim military neutrality, it means that you're military neutral towards everyone, including, uh, you know, other possible alliances, military alliances, and, and uh, I think it's, uh, it's clear that, Serb that Serbia um, has, is, is already has already developed a very strong relation with NATO uh, and Partnership for Peace countries in the last couple of years. I think that also Serbia should be, uh, should be, uh, should develop further on the same path as it has developed, on the same parallel path as it has developed its relations with partnership of peace countries, with uh, countries which are outside of the of of, uh, of uh, PFP or outside of NATO, I think this is this, this does not uh, pose any problems to the to the, to the military neutrality. Um, this does not mean um, creating some sort of a, um, military cooperation or military. Uh, contacts or security contacts do not mean military alliances. Military neutrality means not joining alliances. It does not mean not cooperating with 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 anyone in terms of you know really being. The, uh, so I think it's. I think this is this is a key this is a key difference uh, that I would point out in, in this regard. Uh, in terms of um, um, the question of of. Um, Serbia being called to join uh, to join NATO. I think these calls are you know, are there. I mean, we have seen uh, <coughs> we have, thanks to WikiLeaks, we have seen that a lot of uh, you know contacts that have not been made public. You know, contacts with uh, Defense Minister Shutanovac in the past, who has been urged by uh, you know some people in the U.S. administration, like uh, Vice President Biden and other people, to, to do a lot more to, to uh, bring Serbia closer to, uh, to NATO, or to work towards uh, NATO membership. Um, my problem, you know, you, you have said in, 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 your, in your question, in your remark, you have given part of my answer, you have said, we're not there yet. We have said something like that. We're not there yet, which means that there will. This question will be at some point of time will be put put to Serbia, and I think that um, this is exactly what I'm trying to fight against. And with, with, that is a policy of step by step integration of Serbia into into NATO, without a uh, without uh, the public Serbian public opinion really debating or knowing what's going on because. You know, for me, who has been, you know, correspondent at NATO for years and who knows NATO, I mean, I know what the process is, I know what membership action plan is and how decision membership action pl uh, plan is, can be brought and what can be its effects. But to, a large, to the large part of the Serbian population doesn't know that. The Minister of Defense 
is now learning uh, what it is uh, and how it can uh, circumvent the, uh, the, uh, the, the Serbian public opinion and step by step bring Serbia closer to, uh, uh, to NATO. And it's this policy of secrecy, you know, that, uh, that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fight, fight, fighting against. I, this is why I'm, I'm totally pro in, in favor of, of, of a public debate, but I'm against steps being taken outside of the, of the, of the, of the debate and steps being taken behind and against the will of the, of the, of the Serbian people.